all right my lovelies today we are going to be doing something interesting and that is a hero section experience again because you guys loved the previous one we did and this time this one is going to happen on load and not on scroll and i will link in the description below the one that i'm talking about the previous one this one is going to be super dope because it's something that i have seen on a words website and speaking of code there's a question that has been coming up here and there from time to time and i want to tie it in with another thing that actually it kind of relates we are adding code to already an existing code base elementors and WordPress, right? And the question is, is this code that we add to the websites, this code snippets, are these going to make the website slower? Yes and no, kind of. We know that GSAP is a very light JavaScript library. Of course, any code that you add to a website is going to make it slower a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit, right? So the question is more of, is it going to make it a lot slower no but i want to tie it in with another thing that elementor did and it's amazing i think it's amazing because we uh, have all been complaining kind of about this in the past where for example adding uh, an icon box would output everything that uh, that icon box had for example the markup for the description for the icon list for the the heading even if they were filled or not like everything that that widget had would be outputted to the dom and the dom would load it and all that would make the website slower and imagine having that widget another widget that does that and so on and so forth now with the latest performance improvement in the 321 version of elementor they cleaned up the code base and so for example again if you add the icon box now to the website and if you go to inspect you will see that if you did not add for example a description to the icon box that will not be present in the code which is amazing because that will lighten up the load of the website and again it sounds like a small thing but all these small things add up because we're building the websites with all these widgets right so less output that is unnecessary better for speed right elementor has listened to us and they are improving the performance of their plugin and yeah they are doing their best right also another thing that they did they have revamped their lazy loading of background images and this has been an experimental feature from the i think the 3.9 version of Elementor and now this is going to be a, a default feature but what this does for example it prioritizes the the background images position on the page as well as size so if you have for example images above the fold that means that those images will be loaded first and then the other images will be loaded once they appear uh, above the fold so they don't load before which is again an amazing thing they did elementary is improving we are doing our thing here with just app so always good let's get started all right let's add a container to this page and this container is going to be full with 100 vh uh justify content center center and center everything all right i'll remove any margins although i think i have this in my settings already but i like to remove any paddings and uh, margins add a um image widget in here and this is going to be this image and let's see what we're working with here so with a hundred uh, percent of hundred percent max width as well uh, let's set it to a hundred um, VH height uh, cover and also set this to a hundred percent width. All right, let's publish. What I like to do always, as you can see, um, I am getting an overflow uh, on this once I hover, but this is just in the editor. But I always do this on the main container and the parent container of any. Uh, section I like to go to layout and additional options and set the overflow to hidden so this there's no problem on any devices once the website is 
like we i hate overflow especially on mobile that's very common and i hate it all right i am going to just copy paste the text from my example because i don't want to waste your time with this so i'll paste this here and paste this here all right i already have uh classes on this and these classes of course will correspond with the classes that we have set in gsap as well here and this class will make the text and the image as well behave in a certain way on load and it's super cool and super interesting it's like a rotation of 90 degrees and skewing and super cool let me just add the same class on the image uh, here if you don't want the image to skew but you only want the text to uh, have that effect on load you can just remove this from the image so i think it's time to add html widget in here and bring in our code all right so i have commented a little bit up a part of this code here and this part is related to the video so as i said in the beginning uh we can have two kinds of experiences here one is with an image and a video so for now i will leave this here do not worry uh, the, the code will be cleaned up for you all right as you can see this class as i said is present here and here and pretty much this is the effect that is uh, taking place on uh, load right let's publish and let's have a quick look Ta -da! right how cool is this let's do it again i mean it's super cool let me just go a little bit back yeah <laughs> i just noticed that the html uh went sideways all right let's drag it in here why <laughs> this is kind of annoying when this happens let's just paste it in a separate container delete because i saw there was a weird thing happening all right all right now it's good uh you see now the 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 hero section is fully in full view all right let's reload this how cool is this it's beautiful all right let's add another element and i'm gonna add a button and let's see how this ha uh, reacts right so we have the same class on the button let's just have a look let's have a look another look and another one i mean how cool is that right okay and now you're probably wondering how are we going to deal with the nav bar because the nav bar will be there before everything loads and it's going to look like not that good right so i will add a nav bar let me just go to theme builder and i will enable one of my nav bars here because i have so many so i think i'm gonna go new view hmm uh-huh this one uh edit conditions let's say hero experience on load save and let's go have a look Ta -da! and don't mind the positioning of the navbar the problem the, the idea is how this works all right let's reload and i have some code on it and we can make it appear a bit sooner than that because as you can see it takes a little bit of time and it's not good for the navbar not be there on the hero section when everything is loaded but we still want to delay it a little bit so basically it um works in tandem with the load of the other elements on the um, on the page on the hero section all right so let's go back to our uh, nav bar let's go to where is it again i lost, lost it let's go to um, edit and there is a, a little bit of code that i have added on it to make it act the way it acts so uh disregard the blur this i think you already know how it works uh but i will include it in the code if you want it 
All right, so the portion of the code that uh, makes our um, navbar appear a bit later is this. So we have an animation uh, made with keyframes, yeah? And also uh, this is the time uh, delay basically that our animation has. So we could say two seconds and I think two seconds it should be okay because we have set two seconds in the GSET code for the animation to happen. So let's see if this works together. More or less, yes. We could even go down a little bit to 1.5 maybe seconds or even one. So you can play around with these options. Um, so as I said, let's go back to this. Uh, so as I said, you can change that here and here. Let's do it now together. All right. I'm also curious because I did not try this. I just set it to three and that's it. All right, let's reload. Ah, you see, it's a bit too fast. I mean, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty smooth. Let's see it again. Yeah, it's seamless. It's not there when it loads, but it's already there when everything is loaded. So it's perfect. So let's do the second version now. I removed the image and now we can add our video widget. So let's add it in here. I will switch this from YouTube to self-hosted because I have uh, videos already in here on in media library in the media library. All right. And I want this to autoplay, but it muted and loop and show no controls. Yeah. Let's quickly publish. I will move it here for no reason whatsoever, just for me to see that it's easier to <laughs> add stuff to it well, when it's up there. All right, let's go to advanced and I'm going to set the width of this uh, to be 98. This is just my personal preference and for the purpose of the video, I'm going to have it at 98. You can have it set to 100 if you want it to take the whole width of the screen uh, so from side to side, right? I'm going to set the border to 10 and I will also give it a class. So this is the code for our video effect. As I said earlier, this is a little bit different than the previous one. All right. Okay. Let me just, okay. So this is the class that we are going to set on the video. Boom. Let's go to publish and let's see what happens. All right. And again, as you can see, our navbar is a bit too fast in this case. Uh, we could set it to two or three seconds as we initially had it set to four. So let me tell you what you can do here and how you can play around with all the values to make the effect kind of work for your own use case. It's kind of flexible, but not super, super flexible, but you still have some options here. Okay. Uh, so I played a little bit with this too. Yeah. And look what happens. All right. So initially our video has a width of 80% and a height of 80 VH. So if we change this to be 40 and this to, oh, no, what is that? 40 and this to be 40. Yeah. Let's see what happens. So it starts with a width of 40% of and a height of 40%. So this is where you can play around with these values. 
and I think this is super useful. All right, so let's see what happens if we set the custom width to 45. And keep in mind that our video is set to 16 point, aspect ratio of 16, 9, 16, 9. And if I set it to 9, uh, 16, let's see what happens then. So there are all these little things that you can uh, play around and see what works for you, right? Okay, I think it's a little bit too, too big. And what I'm going to do, add some custom code to it. So let me go to advanced custom CSS and drop some code here. So let's see, 85. All right, let's see what happens now. And it stays at 85. And that, that was such a smooth transition, right? Uh, what I want to do is change the color of this text a little bit just for the sake of this video and it's going to look better right i'm not gonna go uh, all yellow all right let's see i mean this is pretty cool right and it looks very very nice so uh what i wanted to say is that we have all these options that we can play with uh, you have all these styles uh, for the video sizes. Let's see what happens with this. And look at this. I mean, that was okay. What we need, I think, to change here is uh, basically the size of the video. Of the, yeah, of the video initially. Maybe set it to zero. And the height of it. Let's say 45. Wow. Wow. All you need is to play around with it. Let's reload again. Again, you need to play around with uh, the load of the um, navbar in this case. It needs to load at the same time with everything on the page. I think it's actually pretty good. Let's go a little bit and see if we can uh, load the text a little bit faster. So, give me, let's say one. beautiful yeah so again this is pretty flexible and it's as you have seen it's a little bit of a moving part kind of thing uh, and as you can and as you have seen it's a little bit of a puzzle so you have to tweak each of these uh, parts to fit your use case if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye